Hey folks, Les here. Uh, this is kind of a something that I want to start doing is occasionally sharing quick little videos that uh, um, of issues that I run into in the course of my own production. That are just kind of quicky little videos to help you uh, maybe learn some some strategies for dealing with little things that come up sometimes that could be kind of tricky or um, or confusing. So um, here I'm working on a, a new creature model, and uh, I'm not going to show the design because that's kind of I'm going to keep that under wraps for now. But in the course of working on this, um, you know, I'm doing my topology, and I've got um, a uh, an area here that I ran into, and I've, I've backed up so that I can show this to you. I ran into an area where I actually have um, an open triangle area. And um, what I wanted to illustrate with this video is showing um, a strategy on how to find uh, bad spots in meshes. So here I'm going to try to find any triangles or or try to find some uh, uh, holes that that might be like so tightly closed that I can't see them but they're still there. So this is just a neat little trick. I actually use the morph uh, uh, morph feature inside ZBrush quite a bit for things other than than what you might think of when, when you hear the word morph. So like here um, I will store this shape. Okay, and let me just back up a little so you can see this even further back than where it was. Um, so here you can see, you know, we've got these poly groups. Hold on a second. There we go. Here you can see we've got these uh, these poly groups, and I noticed a little bit of pinching right here. And then I had gone ahead and done some things, and I ran into this this area with these holes. Um, and so what I want to show is this quick way of, uh, of, of finding that kind of stuff. So here I've um, stored a morph target, and then I will polish. Now, of course, I'm going to lose all my, my sculpted detail out of that, but it's going to open the mesh up where I can see very click, quickly um, you know, that there's a hole right there. And I can also see that if I put an edge loop there I could stitch that hole together now if I dropped an edge loop in right now though it would kill this morph and I'd lose my shape so how am I going to deal with that well I'm going to uh, isolate just that edge um, edge ring and then I'm going to group polygroup it so that I can see it so you know I've seen that color and I can I can see what it is and now I'll switch back and I can clearly see where that thing terminates right here so now I know that that the hole is right there and so if I drop an edge loop in here I can then open up that hole maybe just uh, show some of these these polygons uh, like so but it was really just about um, saving my shape so that I could apply uh, a, a larger, you know, kind of sweeping shape change like a polish or a relax and, and let the mesh open up and see where any holes and things like that might come up and then restore it after polygrouping because your polygroups will carry on through regardless of the morph. So anyway, there's just a quick strategy on how to, uh, um, you know, on one way to, to find little problem spots really easily.